Okay, I just came outside of my hotel, which is there, and I was, well, it's like, it's like, dude came by with his wife and just like, took a picture of me. I have no idea why, but I just like, kind of smiled wryly and going on with my business. So, my hotel is on the, um, see if I can pronounce this correctly, Václavské Namieste which means Vaclav Square and Vaclav in Western languages is Wenceslaus. And way, way up there at the other end by the museum you can see a statue and that is Wenceslaus, Good King Wenceslaus. Anyway, this is like a long square. It's like a like a like a little three block long boulevard, but they call it a square. And yeah, there's homeless people. This is like it's beautiful here, but it's like the main touristy area. So I think the next time I come back, I'm not gonna stay here. Cause I like to get kind of off the beaten path a little bit. I mean, it's nice here, it's beautiful, it's cool, but, and there's lots of street performers, like the guy playing the violin over there. I think this might be what I'm going to see tonight. It's like, I see they got uh, Paco Bell and Bach on here, and it's at St. Martin in the Wall Church. So, I don't like to patronize churches really, but it sounds cool. But I may do that, I may not do that, because I can probably see that at home. Stuff like that, so. What I really want to do right now, is I'm going to walk up to Old Town Square, which is up this way, like yonder, because there is an Alphonse Mucha and Salvador Dali exhibit that I really want to see. And it's, I think they're charging 250 crowns, which is like, it's only like $12.50, so I figured it might be worth it. And I can stay as long as I want, so I can leave when I want, too. Yeah, they have friggin' McDonald's here. I only see Americans and Germans going into that hole, but... Hello. Ahoy. Maybe he only speaks Czech. Ahoy. Hello. He or she is suspicious, but... They're pretty tame. Yeah, and believe it or not, the Segway is alive and well here. There's like, these are things are everywhere. And it's like, I think like Segway Club, like meets here or something like that. And, uh, and the dude, okay. Uh, bubbles. Yeah, more segways. Yeah, bubbles. Yeah, segways. I just came from Karlova, which is Charles, Charles Bridge. And this is so cool. This is just, just a simple, dumb little street, and it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm lighting a cigarette. But this is amazing. You can just hear music and wonderful stuff all over the place, all over this entire town. I want to stay here so badly.
Okay, it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm in Prague. I decided to come out. I don't know why. And I just missed this dude that was whistling, singing in the rain. And some hookers said ahoy to me, which means hello. And all I had to do is say ahoy back to them and they left me alone. Apparently they don't solicit checks, they only solicit like dumb Americans and stuff. So there's my hotel. This is the Vaklavsky Namest like Vaklavsky Square. And one thirty almost two o'clock in the morning. Not a lot going on, but there's people. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of home at night at 2 o'clock in the morning. Everybody's gone. Alright, so here I am. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm back in my hotel room. And I've already made this huge friggin' mess. And I've been here for 12 hours. And I've sort of done this. Uh, yeah. Not horrible for 12 hours, but could be a lot better. And I just decided I needed coffee at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I got go out, and I think I said earlier that some hookers came up to me and they said hello and I just said hello back in check and they left me alone I'm thinking maybe now that they might have thought I was just a boy hooker because there's plenty of those out in the street too so so that coffee and I'm good to go Hey, look, they gave me a mini fridge. And there's absolutely nothing here that I would be interested in. Coke, Toblerone, Pringles, Orangina. No. There's an interesting shelf. It's like vodka. This is Czech plum vodka. And this is some other kind of Czech vodka. That's weird. They got beer. But yeah, I don't think Toblerone and Pringles. Let the damn Brits eat those. Okay, so here's some of the things I'm probably going to see in Prague. Um, I got this Franz Kafka Museum. That is that sounds really cool. And Muka Museum. He was a painter. That sounds cool. This sounds fun. Czech folklore, dance and stuff like that. I don't know. I feel like I should learn a little bit more about the culture. These are apparently very popular here. Blacklight theaters. And it doesn't sound wonderful to me, but I'm going to check out one maybe just to see why they like it so much. They like put on things that glow in black light and they act out stuff that's... And they just... In black light. And for some reason they love that here. I don't know if foreigners really like it, or they like it, the Czechs like it, or not. But, the hotel gives you this crappy little map. And, it's really, it's not all that great. So, I found this map. And, for some reason the cover's in Russian. But, the map itself is in Czech. And it's at least in a alphabet that I can read and 
I sort of have, only have to know a few things, like Nemesta is square, and most is bridge, and that kind of helps me to get around, just knowing little things like that, and knowing how to say, like, good night, double nuts. That, if you, they think you're Czech, sometimes some people leave you alone. This is so weird. I get this bagel sub thing, vegetarian, and this really good cocoa strawberry sorbet thing. And I pay, and it's in Chakarunas. So the bill for that comes to 163. And it's just weird handing them like a $500 or 500 Corona bill and getting 337 back. And that's what the 337 looks like. Well, with a couple of bills mixed in, but that's going to take some getting used to.